midseason seventh man of the year award. Mm. Now, this is just a dumb award I made up. Has no meaning. I'm not like trying to make a point about anything. It means nothing. But <laughs> to, to, to pick a person, they have to be outside the top six in minutes per game on their team. That's the only uh, qualifier. Because, you know, six man a year, some of these guys, you know, they're playing like 32 minutes a game. You know, yeah. I want to find someone deeper, deeper on the bench. So I sent you a name of uh, a list of names. I went through all the teams, kind of picked out some names I thought could maybe qualify. Who did you end up going with? I have a feeling I know who, but who did you go with? I feel like this is cheating a little bit because I think this guy could actually win the six man of the year. But I'm going with Nas Reed. From oh, the, Nas Reed. Yeah. From the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's been amazing them he's shooting 41 percent on five attempts from three this yeah. season he's a pretty good rebounder he's a, a become like even a better playmaker he he's he's like improved his body a lot since he came in the league so he can defend lots of different kinds of players he's a fan favorite i mean they love 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 him in minnesota and so i gotta go nas reed it's been the year of nas reed uh, that's a great pick. I was talking to uh, Dane Moore today on the Dane Moore podcast and uh, just talking about like how uh, sh- how much that team struggles offensively because of the lack of spacing and having someone like Nas Reed, like how important he is, even on a team that still doesn't have spacing, even with Nas Reed. But like if they didn't have Nas Reed, it would be oh. so, so much rougher. Oh, yeah. Um, so he- he's critical to that team. Um, some other some of the other names I sent to Andrew just to, to peruse: uh, Sam Hauser, Sam Merrill, uh, Goga, Isaiah mm-hmm. Joe, who actually is who I thought you might take. Yeah. Uh, Peyton Watson, Kelly Olynyk, Jonathan Kaminga, Russell Westbrook, Derek Lively, and then the player that I decided to go with. Now I did come down to this player or Nas Reed, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm glad I went with the other player so that we can talk about someone else, and that's Dante Exum. Now he has been out of the lineup for a bit. I do not have a games requirement for my uh, seventh man of the year award, <laughs> midseason award. He has played 31 games. Um, but I, I wanted to pick him just because, man, I, I, I had thought that I would never think about Dante Exum again. You know? I know. Like, what a great story. I, yeah. It, like, I, I remember that draft and I remember the way that how excited like people were about Dante Exum because he really was like that year's man of mystery. Yeah. It was very exciting. Um, and then, you know, things just didn't turn out well. He goes overseas. And I just honestly just kind of forgot about Dante Exum. And mm-hmm. for him to not just show back up into my life, but show back up and play a critical role on what is going to be a playoff team is super impressive. And basically any of the advanced stats like really love Dante Exum. Like the the his on-off numbers for the Mavs have been incredible. I went on uh, pbpstats.com. So these are really fun. You can you can go and put like, you know, however many players you want. It'll show you their net ratings with a couple guys off, a couple guys on. So Luca on, Dante Exum, Kyrie Irving off, over 500 minutes. Net rating of minus six, Andrew. Minus six. Okay. Uh, Luca and Kyrie on, but no Dante Exum, a minus one. Well, now you add back in Exum. Exum and Luca, no Kyrie, plus 5.4. This is this one's really funny. Now, this is only 150 minutes, so it doesn't mean anything. It's small sample. Dante Exum on, Luca and Kyrie off, plus 7.36. <laughs> um, he's just been so important to their offense. He's been a, a, like an incredible shooter. H- have you seen his shooting stats? I mean, that was the thing back then, like when he was drafted, you know, oh, if this guy could ever learn how to shoot. But uh, don't get too excited. It, you know, probably won't happen or something. He's shooting forty six percent from three. Now he's only taking two a game. He's only playing nineteen point five minutes per game. But that's why he's the seventh man of the year. I just think he's been so helpful to that team, and uh, that's why I wanted to reward him. I also considered Derek Lively, who who I was actually surprised was in this range, like could could qualify for it. But I think Isaiah Joe's a great option. Yeah. Sam Merrill, I, I looked at it hard because he has been crazy over this last stretch. But yeah. you know, I'm looking. For, I'm looking for guys who've been doing it the whole season. Okay, Andrew. Even, um, so even, that's even the other Sam. Sam Hauser. Sam Hauser been great as well. 